And welcome back to Jeff Kunanga Live here at Citizen Television. It's not every day that you get a president of an NBA franchise in town. Well, Masai Ujiri is not just president of the Toronto Raptors, he's also vice chairman. Half Kenyan, half Nigerian, lives in Toronto, Canada. And I tell you what a conversation we are having here today. In fact, I'm getting messages from people who have never messaged me in years. <laughs> Take a listen to this. Magda Barua, a newer from way back in the day, went to school together. Says he's excited to see Marcel Ujiri. My son, her son, says Marcel, that's his name, is six foot six and he's 17 years old, represented Kenya in the international children's game in Russia and Jerusalem. Would love the opportunity for him to be checked out. Look hey. at that. I tell my scouts, come check him out. <laughs> anyway. I mean, that just tells you the talent that is out there. Huh? Just, just dying to be recognized or to be discovered, if you will. Uh, Jeff, the sheer size of us Africans, yeah, you go to different countries, different places. There are tribes that, you know, like the average size is like six, 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 seven. You put a basketball court there. Yeah, look at the South Sudanese, mm. look at the Senegalese, look at the Nigerians, the east of Nigeria, look at the Cameroonians, look at the Congolese, look at the Rwandese, you know, there's, it's crazy, yeah, the talent yeah. On, the con on the continent. And we're just talking basketball, we're not even talking other sports. Mm. Another message from uh, Marie Ngendo, she says, great seeing Maasai, can he visit a place called St. Francis Girls in Mangu? They are always best top in basketball in Kenya. It would be great to see someone like Maasai there. But you are, I mean, you're not only going to Korogosho, which is in the inner city, you're also gonna go all the way up to Samburu. Yes. Tell us about these two projects. Well, you go, in, you go and you do these projects um, where kids have um, less opportunity, right? You look at Samburu and what goes on there, uh, the early marriages, mutilation, and what Dr. Josephine, is doing over there. We had the opportunity to visit uh, a few years ago and um, develop a friendship. And um, it's been in my heart that always with these girls and we wanted to create uh, some kind of playground, not only a basketball court, you know, for them. And it takes time, you know, for these things sometimes to, uh, these dreams to come true in some kind of way. My dream one day is Dr. Josephine doesn't have a school that is actually um, uh, shielding um, 10 year old girls, 11 year old girls, 12 year old girls. Yeah, people need to evolve with times. Yeah, we need to evolve with times. And we're hoping that maybe this place becomes um, an educational institution somewhere, you know, like and we stop talking about these Asian things that used to happen, you know, like to women. Uh, it should not be happening. So sports is going to be some way that we can contribute, you know, where these can encourage these girls to do things, you know, like and go um, do physical sports that um, maybe they can enjoy uh, in some way. So we're excited, so excited about the courts that we're building, uh, not only in um, St. John's, but uh, also in Samburu, uh, in Manaki, in Tanzania, who are opening on uh, on Monday um, there. And then uh, next month, we're going to open the ones on the western part of Africa, four in Lagos, which I'm really incredibly like proud of, two in Burkina Faso, and one in Ivory Coast. Um, so we'll keep doing this, this work, um, uh, Jeff, and hopefully um, it can inspire some youth uh, now to, to play ball. I want them to do more than playing ball. Yeah, yeah. I, I, re I really want them to do much more than playing ball because, yeah, there is an industry that we're not all, you know, like um, really educated about. I wanted to ask you about the basketball in Kogelo. Uh, you and uh, President Obama were hanging out a couple of years ago. Is it yeah. still there? Still? Uh, yes, yes. Still running. Uh, Oma. Uh, Obama, in fact, I just saw Gina Dane at an event um, last a uh, um, couple hours ago, and yes, it's still running, still in touch with um, with Auma and what they're um, what they're doing. We try to refurbish as 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 often as uh, we can, but um, that moment 
and then putting something there for youth to play and play ball you know like they continue to uh, uh, to grow it continues to help and inspire youth yeah. um, in that that part of the world there's something known as the basketball africa league that just concluded in kigali recently mm -hmm. you and president obama are part of that yes uh, well, um, it's a huge investment the NBA has made, um, not only about the basketball league as uh, a business and entity and, and growing. Obviously, um, uh, people have invested in this league now. The NBA has invested in this league. I think Amadou Fall has done a great job in really starting to build the first league, the first actual uh, basketball league that happened in April in Kigali operated almost like in a bubble setting was hugely, hugely uh, successful. Uh, and um, it's the growth. It's the growth of the game. You know, like that's the opportunity that all of this is going to uh, create. And then NBA Africa and what Victor is doing, you know, in, in growing the league, make, uh, growing the uh, business uh, on the continent. Um, they were just in Kenya. I think with FIBA doing a basketball camp and they continue to roam around the continent, you know, like um, encouraging, building youth. All these things, you know, are going to um, uh, lift the game up uh, on the continent. What we're talking about, what President Kagame is doing, you know, like uh, as we said with the arena, um, all these events are coming there now. Yeah, African Championships, uh, Bar League, the volleyball you were talking about. We, we just have to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. I'm proud of Adam Silver, uh, the commissioner of the NBA, and the time um, investment uh, spent, you know, like on the continent and how we continue to move it. Yeah, uh, you know, you talk, talk about the arena in case our viewers don't know. It's an incredible, incredible, it's an arena mm -hmm. that has been built in Kigali. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and you know, and it's, it's reaping the rewards. Mm -hmm. There's no how, Jeff, that we should not have one of this in every... Our arena in Toronto creates so many jobs, uh, right? Incredible jobs for people because we're using the same arena constantly. Hockey, circus, um, and conventions, everything that concerts, constantly. If you ask today um, to book a date in our arena, even plus COVID, you cannot get a date yeah, because it's all booked. What does that do? It creates jobs for all kinds of people, from lawyers to medical people to every single person. And then it creates a community. And then what can you build around this community? Yeah, what can you build around this arena? Bars, shops, all those things that are going to create restaurants, that are going to create all kinds of business yeah, for people to work people to be vibrant, yeah, people to follow sports even more. Uh, these are things that we have to think about on the continent and evolve. Yeah, we have to evolve. If every country had just one arena, just like Igali, if every country had a nice, performing, working arena that can operate concerts, games, competitions, all these things, and now I can tell Drake to come to concerts here on the continent and now he can bounce from country to country, you know, like, and now it becomes an incredible business. How are we not thinking this way on this continent? How are we not? Yeah, we should be. We have the money. Yeah, we have the brains. Yeah, how can we not be thinking that way? How can we not evolve? Did, Masai, did you just say you can call Drake? You, 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 you know, you know Drake? No, I'm saying Drake is there. Ambas is, a, is a global ambassador with our team. Yeah, that's why he sits down <laughs> right there every game. Yeah. The world in a better, much better place. Yeah. Much, much better place. I was so happy the day I saw Kenyatta and Raila shaking hands. Yeah, you, you know what that does for people? It's the human in you. Yeah, that opens everything. Yeah, it doesn't matter where you're from. Who cares? You know, like we're all people and human beings. Yeah, no matter whether we do politics or whatever, it's who you are as a human being first. And we as leaders have to create all of that for the people. Bottom line, you still have so much hope on this continent, uh, for this continent. Big time. Yeah, I will never lose hope on this continent. Yeah, never, 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 never lose hope 
on this continent. What did somebody say to me? Um, you know, this is this continent is no more a playground for the powerhouses. Yeah, well, no more a playground. Yeah, we are for real. Yeah, we are for real. People, young youth, uh, people are beginning to see. We can do business. We can do things the right way. We have resources. Yeah, we have uh, Africa's resources is its people. The biggest is its people. Yeah, and we have to see that. Despite the ravages of COVID-19, Maasai, uh, you know, it's, it's been devastating globally. Have you seen some silver linings coming out of it? Have we become more human? Are we becoming more human? I think we are. Yeah, when you spend time now, you spend time, as much time at home with everybody. And yeah, usually we're gallivanting, right? You know, like we have to leave and now you spend time at home and you see the real, real struggles, you know, like the real struggles of people. And then you don't take for granted, you know, what you've been given and yeah, what the jobs we have and uh, the ways we interact in restaurants, in places and all. There's nobody that predicted this, this thing would, would be like this. Mm. Yeah, to sit down on Zoom and continue to do all these Zoom uh, uh, calls and uh, meetings and all, it got exhausting after a while. There is nothing like a human interaction. Mm. Yeah, nothing like it. Mm. Yeah, this here, it's completely different from doing this on Zoom. Yeah. All day long. All day long. Yes. yes. Yeah. They All day long. Yeah. Sometimes they catch you picking your nose or something. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a lot of messages from people like Gildi who never message me. They're saying there's a two uh, schools called Storehe Boys and Girls. Have you heard of them? Yes. I'm going there on Friday. Oh. Going there on Friday to the boys' school and the girls' school. And I'm super excited. Yeah, so excited. Going to speak to the kids, going to interact with the kids. I, I can't wait, you know, because I heard a lot of people have, um, I have a lot of uh, kids with um, less opportunity yeah. have come, have gone to those schools and become really something. And that, that really like intrigued me. I love, I love those stories. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Abu in Uganda wants to know, when are you going to go to Uganda? Um, as soon as these things open up, you know, like we'll be back. We were in Uganda, I think, in 2019, uh, last, when we did our uh, camps last. So we'll be back. We'll try to get to as many places on the continent as we can. Mm. Uh, so, so that's, <laughs> any relationship with Maasai or just the name? Why did, they, why did you, the folks call you Maasai? Because of the Maasai tribe. Obviously, but you're yeah. not Maasai. I'm not Maasai, yeah. but my dad loved the name and my mom loved the name too. I'm so happy I have that name. <laughs> <laughs> we are too. <laughs> Your folks still alive? Yes. Both um, of them? Yes. My parents are alive and well in, in Nigeria. Fantastic. Um, I'm, I'm happy about that. The aging, you know, like, but yeah. yeah, you know what? I'm blessed that they're alive and um, I'm proud of them I'm blessed they must be so proud of you man they must be so proud of you there's a young man watching you young woman watching you for the very first time and you know there are not many opportunities for Africans out there mm -hmm. but when they see you they see a bit of hope what do you tell them uh, I I grew up in Zaria in northern Nigeria Zaria the place people would talk about and say, you know, um, um, all the things that go on in northern Nigeria, we know. Um, I grew up there, uh, right there. And up to when I was 18 years old, yeah. So I, I always tell people I didn't grow up in the States. Yeah, I grew up in northern Nigeria. Yeah, not even in Lagos or any of these places. Yeah, Zaria. And I had an unbelievable childhood. Yeah, that I'm so proud of. Taught me values, incredible ways that you know, like that you see the world. Yeah? And I'm saying to all these people that if I can do it, I always say, I don't know if I can say it on TV, but I say my dumb ass can do it. <laughs> <laughs> all these youth, they can do it even better and bigger. Yeah, better and bigger. I never made the MBA. 
I wasn't the best in class. You know, like uh, so many smart people. Yeah, and look at, uh, for me, we have to create some kind of pathway. One person here, another person there, another family you help. Every, it will come to something. It will get to something. I'm a true believer, uh, honestly, in that. And I see a lot of what people are doing in sports, what people are doing in other industries. Look at what the music industry is now. Man. Huge. Huge. Everywhere you go, you go to airports in, in, in the U.S., you go to restaurants in the U.S., play, people are playing Diamond, Barna Boy, yes. Davido, yeah. you know, like all these guys. Yeah. yeah, relevant. Yeah, relevant. We are relevant. You know, President Obama loves Burna Boy, yeah? Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's a big fan of Burner Boy. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I just deal with basketball alone with him. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a big load of its own. <laughs> he loves the game. Yeah. <laughs> any kind of musician, music bands that you know? Any, have you heard of any? Uh, you know, with this one, I'm biased, man. I'm, I'm all Nigeria, man. <laughs> I'm all Burner Boy. I'm all yeah, Davido. Whiskey, I'm techno. all Wiz no yeah. Techno. Love uh, it. Yes. And yeah. now there's some new ones, Omar Lay and a whole bunch of others. Huh? It, it's, it's crazy. Goodness. Yeah. And that's, that's the talent that we're talking about. You know, like that, this is, this is, yeah. this is. Have we begun to scratch the surface, Maasai, or is, is it the pool down there of talent hasn't been, is still to be discovered? Yeah, I can say it's both ways. I'm going to speak for both sides of my mouth. I, I love the opportunity that people like you are giving us. Yeah, we come, we speak. I love the uh, opportunity that this Barnaboy, Boy, Davido, everybody, the soccer players, the basketball players, the Embiid's of the world, the Yanis's, Pascal's, all these guys giving us opportunity. I love the opportunity that the Kagames, the Kenyatta's, the everybody, like they, they have to keep giving us all these opportunities. Mm -hmm. It's so important for us uh, that, that it happens. We have to speak as Africans. Yeah, we have to. We have to speak for each other. Yeah. What's happening in Tigray? We have to speak. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we have to speak for each other. Yeah, we cannot allow these things happen to us. Yeah, we have to. It's very, very important. Tabo Mbeki once said the 21st century belongs to Africa. Yes. You agree? I agree. 100 percent. And more. And more. Yeah. This youth, uh, and SARS in Nigeria was real. Yeah, the youth, yeah, I believe in them. Yeah, I really believe in them. Just slowly, we show passion uh, and, and, and keep going. And be, I know their generation is a little sometimes, you know, with social media and all of that, but why evolving? Yeah, why evolving as in, in the world? Yeah, things are changing. Yeah, no doubt about it. Let's go to the magic wall. I, tweets are coming in so thick and so fast. No, you can sit there. You can sit there. Yeah, relax, relax. Oh, okay. Sorry. I thought I was coming no. with you. <laughs> I'll, I'll read them out. <laughs> Eugene Koske on Twitter says, Hi, Masai Ujiri. I'm an enthusiast of basketball. I have played for quite a while. My team is the Milwaukee Bucks. You guys beat us ugly one time. Can I... Can I help you with working on the courts in Africa? I'm currently a mechanical engineer. <laughs> First of all, that's a no. If your team is Milwaukee Bucks, I'm not speaking to you. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's it. He nah, shouldn't we'll, have said we'll, that. we'll talk to him. Yeah. <laughs> well done. Where at James says, good job, Masai Ujiri. May God bless you. Two years ago, I tweeted about having a Kenyan player in the NBA. Ask him if he sees any potential now that the Morans and the Lions are performing well at the continental level. I tell you, we have a, um, one of our Giants of Africa um, um, coaches, uh, Abel, um, actually coaches with the Kenyan um, uh, team. And uh, honestly, there's a lot of um, great um, vibe going on with the, with, the, with the national team and basketball progressing here. And uh, I'm proud to see that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really proud to see yeah. that there's, there is some movement in, in one, the talent, and even organization. Yeah, and it's, it's incredible. Some of the players actually play in Europe and the States. Yes. Some of the Kenyan, the Morans. Yes. I know it's, 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 very, it's very impressive because if you, if you go look for them, you'll find them. Mm. Yeah, you, you, you really find yeah. them. And with you, if you build it, they will come. Yes. That's why you're building these courts. No question. 
No question. James Kibet says, Maasai, commitment to giving back to Africa is an important factor to remind everyone home needs you. Home is where your heart is. Let's give and build back with whatever we have out there. Raptors inspirational. There we go. Nice. More Raptors fans. <laughs> yes, indeed. Smart Colin says, I love this guy. I watch propel the Raptors to win the NBA Finals. Kindly ask him what he thinks of Ben Simmons and would he consider trading for him? Hey, <laughs> Who does um, Ben Simmons play for, by the way? He plays for the Sixers. I'm not allowed to comment on any other <laughs> players. I'll get fined, and if he'll pay me, give me the fine, the money, <laughs> let him give me some Kenyan shillings, then I'll comment. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Uh, Michelle Randall says, the Ministry of Sports needs to listen keenly to people like Maasai to assist in the vision of our future sports elites. Splendous talents are evident, but we lack the infrastructure, unfortunately. That's what you're saying, that infrastructure is very important. You know, I've, 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 I've had great interaction with Amina Mohammed and... Sister to me, she's great, and um, bless her heart, she lost her husband um, a few weeks ago. But um, I think she's, she's done a great job in at least trying to really tap and see, you know, what um, things that we can do to get, get the game better uh, mm -hmm. in, in Nairobi and in Kenya. Absolutely. Mm. Faustin says, hey, can you organize some Toronto Raptors basketball camps in Kenya? Well, we come and we do the, the Giants of Africa camps here. Um, unfortunately, we, have, we were not able to do that um, um, for the last year and a half because of uh, COVID. But we'll bounce back. We'll, we'll definitely be back. Kenya yeah. is a priority for us. I yeah. appreciate that. Mm. Uh, Dr. Josephine, all the way in Samburu, says, Karibu Samburu means welcome to Samburu. Oh, Asante sana. Hey. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I, will see, I will see you in two days <laughs> in Samburu. <laughs> yeah. And uh, my good friend Fred Arunga is asking, why Samburu? I think you explained that earlier on, right? Y yes, I did. Go on, in y case he missed it. Um, well, we've had a relationship with Samburu. I was very fortunate, you know, um, a few years ago, I was taken there by, I think, Gina Dean and um, a couple of people, um, Dr. Abbas. I, uh, mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, unbelievable people. And um, that took me to Dadab uh, too. And um, the relationship we've developed, you know, with, um, with the Samburu girls over the years has, has been, I took the trophy when we won the trophy, took it um, over there. They made this for me and I've worn it never taken it off my girls from Samburu and it's it never come off it's never nev faded it, or anything it has never come off you're yeah. kidding yes. mine keep falling off all the time no no you got the fake one where do you get yours from uh, we so have to get you some from Samburu seriously then. yes when I raised that trophy that year this was this thing yeah. Yeah, like I, I, I felt I felt so proud, and I remember the girls. I said I have to take the, bring the trophy uh, to to Samburu, and and we did. I cannot wait uh, to see them on on Saturday. Yeah. Can't wait. Yeah. Mm. Bottom line, Masai, what is your dream and goal for this continent? You know, um, we're we're gonna be bigger. Yeah, we're gonna be better. Yeah, we're gonna open up. We're gonna love each other more. Yeah, and that's what's going to affect um, uh, the, the rest of the world and affect us even, even more. Africa is going to be incredible. Yeah. Honestly, Jeff, I just hope I'm alive to see a little bit of it because I know, I know that it's going to be incredible. And it starts, you're starting to see it in patches, in little bits. You know, last week I, I learned a phrase that um, that's going to be with us for the next 100 years or so. Mm -hmm. it's, it's called the three C's. Mm -hmm. COVID, mm -hmm. conflict, mm -hmm. and climate change. Mm -hmm. Those three C's. Mm -hmm. And it's holding us back. Mm -hmm. It's going to hold us back for a while. Yes. I think um, for me, yeah, d diseases, you know, are natural um, um, hazards, um, climate change, um, those things, you know, we can avoid in some, in some ways. Yeah, conflict we can control. Yeah, we can control conflict. We just have to be better. Yeah, we have to be better people. Yeah, I'll say, I always say, yeah, there's a very tiny percentage of people in the world that are not so good. 
very tiny percentage. Yeah, it's not, when you see groups, when you see, I don't want to call names, when you see um, the, all the different groups, all the different people that cause, it's a very tiny percentage, very small. We have to overwhelm them and we have to make people better. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And some, a lot of these things is caused by poverty. Yeah. So we all have to be better to go to all these places and give yeah, a lot of these communities the opportunity that's needed. Yeah, because a lot of this is poverty. Mm. Yeah, we blame religion, we blame all kinds of stuff. No, it's poverty. Yeah, when people don't have, they try to go find, sometimes in a not so good way. Yeah. yeah. Can we build back better as a continent? Uh, we Will can. we build back better? I hope we can. Yeah, I hope we can. Like, like PK says, you know, like, we have to rely on ourselves yeah, like rather than rely on the rest of the world. Yeah, what do we have here? Yeah, what do we have here? Yeah, we rely on our, we have something here. Yeah, we have to rely on ourselves. Absolutely. Masai Ujiri, as always, good to see you, my brother. Great to see you, brother. Thanks so much for... Um, when are you coming that way? Canada way? Yes. Hey, man. And it just let yeah. me know. You have to come on. You have to come on. Wear this. Oh my! God. And you. Oh, you put my name on it. Yes, sir. Shut up. <laughs> Am I number twenty-one? Yes. I'm going to sign you. Give me some yeah, love, bro. Yeah, not going to be doing this job anymore. <laughs> You're coming to play for the Raptors. <laughs> right here. Number twenty-one. Oh yes. man, look at that. Alaki, you getting that? Oh, thank you, bro. Thank you, bro. Did I give you a copy of my book last time? Yes, you did. Did you, did read, you read it? Did you read it? Of course. God bless you, brother. Bless you, man. Bless well you. done. Thanks. This is great, man. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you for having me. I'm coming to Toronto. Yes. I'm coming to Toronto. Yes. Do you hear that, mom? I'm going to Toronto. Uh, God bless Kenya. God, God bless Kenya indeed. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. And keep coming, brother. We will. Keep coming back and do your thing. Like, um, I think it was uh, the late, great professor Wangari Mathai mm -hmm. who said, Everyone does their little bit, a little bit. Yes. And in the end, we'll all win. Yes. Yes. That's Africa it. must win. Yeah. Africa must win. There's no other alternative. Yeah, we must win. Yeah. Well, Masai Jiri, folks, not only the president of the Toronto Raptors, but the vice chair, all the way out there across the Atlantic, but it's hot right here on the continent. I tell you folks, we only had just five Maasai's. Remember, imagine how the continent would be. Think about it as you keep tweeting at Koinanga Jeff at Citizen TV Kenya, the hashtag JK Live. Look at that folks, I'm a Raptor player. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us, folks. Good night, good luck. God bless this man, Masai Ujiri. God bless Kenya. God bless Africa. <laughs>